Science. The United Arab Emirates is working to send a probe to orbit Mars. The UAE agency has called its mission Alamal Hope and has now introduced it to the public. Various events have been organized in Dubai to give residents an insight into future plans for space exploration, workshops and interactive exhibitions that target families and schools. These activities are designed to encourage students to explore and research. The probe is planned to enter Mars's orbit in 2021, the 50th anniversary of the country's independence. It will be the first space exploration mission by an Arab state. The teams are working with scientists and academics at the University of Colorado. The idea is for the team to learn from their academic partners and bring the knowledge back to the UAE for the spacecraft assembly. Mars was once thought to be a habitable planet because of the presence of water just like on Earth. In recent explorations by NASA states that the red planet used to have a cool climate. This mission will be taking us to another level. So it will be adding to the level of science or knowledge about Mars and its atmosphere uh, to the scientific community. And that's very important for this mission that it gives back. Obviously, uh, ESA has a lot of uh, experience in Mars missions. They have a lot of Mars scientists. And we want to make sure that our data reaches them and that we can cooperate uh, with them on that data. Once the probe is in orbit around Mars, it will study all aspects of the planet's atmosphere the daily and yearly dynamic climates of the different layers and the elements that make up their proportions, and finally the release of hydrogen and oxygen into space. Scientists believe that Mars became too hot, which caused the water to evaporate and the molecules to escape through the edge of the atmosphere into space. Understanding what happened to Mars may help us to understand what is happening to our home, Earth, and how we can protect the atmosphere. Something else that's remarkable and, and, and some, somewhat similar to what we have here on Earth are the dust storms um, that occur on that planet. Now, the dust storms, they're not like the dust storms we have here on Earth. Um, our dust storms sometimes last less than a day. But there, sometimes it can pick up in less than an entire day, it covers the entire planet, and it starts at one region and then engulfs the entire planet in a global dust storm that sometimes might run for days or weeks. At present, there are 75 people in the Emirates Mars mission team. The sum of 5.44 billion US dollars has already been invested, and the question is not whether these funds will be sufficient, but whether the time frame set by the UAE will realistically allow the completion of the project. This region needs uh, positive news such as this mission to get the youth excited that, you know what, uh, Arabs and Muslims can work on uh, innovative projects, exciting projects, and they can contribute to the global picture of science and technology. This mission is a gift from the UAE to the world. Those in charge of the space program hope the first Arab mission to Mars will be a source of inspiration to millions of young Arabs in the way Americans growing up in the era of the Apollo program crave the prospect of space exploration. The United Arab Emirates Space Agency is very young. The average age of its engineers is under 40. Sending a probe to orbit Mars will allow the UAE to join the list of the few countries aiming to reach the Red Planet.